Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install Robot Studio, which is the simulation environment that we will use to try things out before we go into the actual robot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, if you Google um, download Robot Studio ABB trial or something like that, you should end up on this website. Um, this website tells you, prompts you to download Robot Studio here with Robotware. So you just go ahead, you click on it, and then you download the whole thing. It's a two gigabyte download, so it may take you a while. I already have it in my system, uh, so I'm just gonna open it, right? And um, upon the first time you open it, it's probably gonna prompt you for some licensing or some stuff. Um, Robot Studio is a licensed product, so you need to pay for it, but you have a 30 day trial. And also for the sake of what we're gonna be doing here, even if your trial expires, you can still simulate things, which is what we're interested in when working with Machina. Um, what you cannot do with the unlicensed version is to program things within Robot Studio, but we don't care about that because we want to program things with Machina, all right? <laughs> so we're good. You can use it anytime. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a robot cell. A robot cell is basically like a robot with some environment that we can interact with, okay? And in order to do that, I'm gonna go to solution with station and robot controller, all right? Here, you would type the name of the solution, where you wanna save it in your computer, etc. Uh, but the important part is choosing the model of the robot that you're gonna be working with. That should either match whatever you have available in your lab, in your facility, in your shop, whatever. I'm gonna choose, for example, the 1200, which is a nice, very nice robot that we have back at Autodesk. And I'm going to click on Customize Options. That's also very important because we need to specify um, what additional options this robot has to have. ABB robots are like cars. You can just buy like the simple car, but then you have to pay for a lot of extras and cool, like fancy things that the robot can do, right? Um, so here uh, in the Customization Options, uh, what you should do ideally is figure out what options your actual robot has, what you bought it for, um, and then get that list and enter it here. But if you don't know yet or what's going on or you just want to tinker a little bit, then what I would suggest is that you go to the communication menu and in communication you click PC interface. This is the minimum requirement that an ABB robot needs to have in order to be able to do network communication and talk back and forth with Machina, okay? Additionally, uh, if you go to engineering tools, I'm gonna ask you to click on multitasking. We're gonna add multitasking as an option because as I will show you in further videos, um, if you wanna do real-time monitoring, monitoring of the execution of the robot with Machina right now, you need this option as well, all right? Otherwise, you can still interact in real time, but the response or the data that you're getting back is not so uh, updated, it's not so real time. And you will see why in, in, in further videos, okay? Um, also, if you don't have an ABB robot right now and you're planning on buying one and using it with Machina, these two options as of right now are very convenient, okay? So I'm gonna hit okay, and then Robot Studio gonna take some time to think things, think, things through, etc., and it may prompt you with a small menu about exactly what kind of model for that robot you want to choose. Um, <clears throat> let's see if it does. Boring. Okay, something's happening. I think my computer is a little slow with all the screencasting and camera recording. So I'm just gonna choose this one, for example, whatever. All right, all right, so here we are. I have a virtual robot here. Um, the way to move around the screen is by, I can press Control and left mouse to pan. I can press right click and the wheel to rotate around. It's very weird but you get used to it over time, all right? Uh, things that I can do with this robot is I can go to modeling, 
I can go to layout, double click here, and then right click and set mechanism join jog. Here I get a visualization of the axis of the robot. So I can rotate the robot on the first axis, the second axis, third axis, etc., etc., especially the fourth axis. Or I can just right click and say go to home, and it resets everything back to 000, 000, 30, 0. I find 30 a little weird, so I'm just going to make it 90 which I like better as a home position for ABB robots, all right? And um, Robot Studio is a very powerful software, so if you're interested in knowing more about it, just go online. There's a lot of tutorials out there, so you can, you can go crazy, okay? For the sake of these tutorials, we're only going to be using it for simulation in real time with Machina, okay?